late 2021, Inspiration4 marked the first successful orbital launch by an all-private crew. It was powered by SpaceX's Falcon 9 launch system. The timeline leading up to this launch was littered with learning experiences, challenges, and remarkable successes. Let's take a look back on the rockets that paved the way. SpaceX's journey began 20 years before the Inspiration 4's launch in 2001. Elon Musk, the company's founder, began developing plans for the Mars Oasis project, a research project that aimed to land a small experimental greenhouse on Martian soil. Initially, he planned on using refurbished Dnieper rockets for the project, essentially just repurposed ICBM missiles. However, after inspecting the units firsthand on a trip to Moscow, Musk had found these units to be far too costly. He believed it would be far cheaper to design and manufacture the rockets himself, so he founded a company for this express purpose, SpaceX. Work began immediately on the Falcon 1, a two-stage-to-orbit rocket. Construction was finally completed in 2006, and after three failed launch attempts, it finally entered orbit on its fourth try in 2008. The project cost an eye-watering $90 million to develop and $7 million per launch. And yet, even when combining development costs and launch costs, it was still nothing compared to the overhead costs of other contemporary launch systems. The Atlas V, one of NASA's go-to launch systems of the time, cost an astronomical $150 million per launch. In some ways, the Falcon 1 was essentially a prototype for the launch system of the future, the Falcon 9. Both rockets shared certain components and structural design concepts. The main difference? Their overall power. The Falcon 1 could output up to 4.5 kilonewtons of thrust at takeoff. Its bigger brother, the Falcon 9, peaked at 7.6 kilonewtons of thrust. But this wasn't just for show. While bringing the Falcon 1 into orbit was an accomplishment in and of itself, SpaceX needed an exponentially more powerful launch system if they wanted to bring anything bigger than a small satellite into orbit. And so, once the Falcon 1 was retired, the Falcon 9 became SpaceX's new primary workhorse. Across all of its iterations, the Falcon 9 has been responsible for over 140 successful launches compared to the Falcon 1's two successful launches. Since its first launch in 2012, the Falcon 9 has delivered cargo to the International Space Station, shepherded the Deep Space Climate Observatory into orbit, and even facilitated the debut of the world's first space plane not to mention the Inspiration 4's historic launch. Even with its market increase in power, the Falcon 9 still held true to SpaceX's initial vision of making space travel cheaper. Launch costs for the platform topped out at $62 million, a figure still less expensive than a typical space agency's launch costs. On top of this, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are currently the only reusable launch systems in service today. The Falcon Heavy is SpaceX's newest rocket. It's more than just the most powerful rocket SpaceX has produced by far. Once in service, the Falcon Heavy will be one of the most powerful rockets in the world, full stop. This behemoth will be able to produce up to 16.4 meganewtons of thrust, giving it the ability to bring truly massive payloads into orbit, such as a moon lander. SpaceX hopes the Falcon Heavy will reignite public interest in taking astronauts beyond low Earth orbit for the first time since Gene Cernan became the last person to walk on the moon in 1972. The Falcon Heavy has quite a busy schedule over the next few years. 
The powerful rocket will launch an internet satellite to serve Alaska in the spring of 2022. NASA's $4.25 billion Europa Clipper spacecraft in 2024 and the GOES-U weather satellite that same year. With the Falcon 9's ongoing years of reliable service, and with the Falcon Heavy looming on the horizon, SpaceX's dream of making space travel a more accessible experience just might become a reality within our lifetimes. For now though, journeys on these types of rockets are reserved for those who can afford the hefty fees. If SpaceX keeps up the pace though, who knows, we might find our grandchildren's generation to be the first to take jobs off-world.